Good afternoon, everybody. All right, this is a little piece on uh, some more John Durham stuff that we got going on here. Uh, it looks like uh, John Durham is digging some deep, digging in some deep stuff over here. He's uh, there was two uh, Congress people, Congress persons that we know of. That uh, let's see here if I can find their names here. Uh, Lisa Page and Peter Strzok. Lisa Page and Peter Strzok. I think we remember those as the ones that were sort of like, they, they had their little um, escapade and they had to be held accountable because they were using some kind of governmental thing to trade selfies back and forth of controversial pictures. Yeah. Anyhow, check this out. So uh, John Durham has uh, these people and apparently they are talking. There's a lot of stuff going on there, so uh, so definitely more stuff to see out of John Durham, and uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, oh, oh! And it looks like, and, and you know, from the from what I'm reading here and some of the other sources, we should see some indictments of high end officials coming pretty soon, and pretty soon is in a is is a timeline is only speculatory to the eyes of the beholder. So pretty soon could be five minutes from now, or maybe a week or a year. You know, depends upon how you want to look. But there should be something coming up. We got stuff going on. Uh, so let's keep our eye on, uh, John Durham, some more stuff. That's great. Wonderful news. And y'all, and like I say, I want to uh, spread this message of peace and unity amongst, uh, just, you know, a lot of people are angry at, uh, the left and I am too, but I'm a big advocate of trying to get people to come to our side. So a lot of times attacking these people may seem like the right thing to do. And it feels like the right thing to do. Unfortunately, uh, it, there's a time and place for everything for that. So, uh, and, and, you know, if you can bring somebody into your, what you're doing, a lot of times, if you can, if you can sell your idea or ideology where people are able to come to it termly on their own terms, are able to, you know, come to this on their own terms with no force, no coercion, you've, you've got a really good alliance. A lot of those people are actually more, they turn into more hardcore right people like we do once they see the wrong of the left. So when you, when you're, when you encounter people from the left and you feel like you want to attack these people, uh, it's best to try to, uh, uh, take a, a tactic of, uh, of, of togetherness because I promise you, we will, we will prosper in numbers. And the only way to do that is to, to talk to people, to educate people and allow people to make their own decisions. That's part of a, being a free society. We can't force anybody. Us on the right would love to re-educate them and put them in the camps like they're talking about us, but then that turns us into them. So uh, in order for us to be a free society, we have to roll with it and realize that things aren't always going to go our way, but to try to have peace and unity and do our best to bring in our fellow brothers and sisters into our community and show them what's right. And, and let them make their own decision after that. So anyhow, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, I really appreciate all the new subscribers. I want to give a shout out to Sweet Home North Carolina. Uh, he's He was the feller that suggested me to, uh, to email Sweet Home Maricopa. And ever since then, things have just exploded beautifully. Thank you all very, very much. Have a good afternoon and keep fighting. God is in control.